patty. Today I'm going to show you how to make flautas. Uh, when I was a kid I called them rolled tacos. There's like a taco but it's well rolled. But here's the thing I had a great idea. I, I didn't it wasn't my idea. I was given a great idea by a couple of my students. I would I'm looking for a niche for my channel. I thought I would make a cooking show. And you know, I thought I'm not not really that good of a cook. But I've already made a couple of silly videos on how to cook stuff that I can cook, which is moronically simple. And <laughs> cooking show for morons. <laughs> cooking show for a bachelor who doesn't want to cook but wants to make his own food and save some money. So that's, this is not, it's not the first video, but it's the first video with that in mind. So, um, so this is it. And I'm gonna show you how to make rolled tacos. Now, to make rolled tacos, you need to have corn tortillas. Now, these are not very easily available in some places. And uh, I will try to make an alternative. But uh, try to find some corn tortillas. That, to, to, I got them in Georgia. Weirdly, there's a place in Georgia, that, that in Tbilisi, that sells corn tortillas. So we're going to need corn tortillas and some... Pulled chicken. Pulled chicken is like I, I, I've already done this. I'm not gonna I'm not gonna do another one just to film it. But you just you boil chicken until it's cooked all the way through, and then you just pull it apart, and you wind up with this, and that's the filling for the taco. You can spice it if you want. I mean, I got I got some of this. This is actually surprisingly nice, uh, just because my supermarket didn't have the Tabasco sauce that I wanted. Uh, this is a, a, a substitute for Tabasco sauce, but it, it, it doesn't have the same flavor, but it's still pretty nice. So, you know, I'm gonna spice up my chicken a little bit. So it'll be spicy coming out, but it's not necessary. It's not necessary. You'll see why later on. So, Okay, so let's put the ingredients together. Okay, to start with, um, if it's supposed to be moronically simple, I gotta treat y'all like morons. So, I took some cheese. This is, this is the cheese I get. It's quite nice. President British cheddar, this is mild. Um, I get the mild because it holds together better when you grate. So, I'm gonna grate the cheese. And I need that for topping the rolled tacos when they're ready. So you need this cheese grater, or whatever grater. I use it for cheese, potatoes, carrots, you know, whatever. And also, um, you've seen, I'm, I'm assuming you've seen my um, salsa making video. I made a video on how to make homemade salsa because it's kind of hard to come by here. If you haven't seen that, go looking for it in case you need to. I mean, otherwise you just buy some salsa, but in Georgia it's a little hard to come by. So uh, there, that's enough cheese for now. And uh, then uh, we need to get ready to actually, um, uh, there you are, to actually cook the rolled tacos. So uh, let's go into that right now. Oh yeah, and you may notice there are two sides to a tortilla. Some people don't care, but I think of this as the inside of the taco. So, there you go. Okay, now we, we need to do something first. Uh, we heat up this pan. Why? Because when you buy the tortillas, uh, they're going to be Unless you get them very fresh from a tortilleria, if you buy tortillas in a package, they're going to be a little stiff and they will break when you try to roll them. Now, these, <laughs> uh, 
they taste really good, but they're very, but they're very thick. And because they're so thick, I need to, I need to um, make them more pliable. So here's what I do. First, I put a tiny bit of water on them. You want the least amount of water possible. So I just do it the way uh, Doña Tina taught me back in Oaxaca many years ago. Just a tiny bit. Ah, too much, too much, too much. Get that off. Okay, I've rolled another one with a flour tortilla. This just has cheese in it. I used up all the chicken for the corn ones because I know those are going to be good. But um, I'm going to make one with flour in the same way as the corn just to see if it works. I don't really know if it will. It might, but we'll see. Okay, you need to hold it at such an angle so that when it's in the oil, this part cooks first because that'll get hard and it'll keep it in its rolled form. So you also need to hold it while it's cooking. So let's see if you can see this, because this is a little bit hard to do. Because you've got to keep it rolled up. Ah, hang on. Okay, once it's, once it's cooked on one side and it stays rolled up, you're good. So, and I, I happen to know that these tortillas don't cook up all super crispy, but it's crispy enough. Okay, there's one. Now, if you have a deep fryer, that would be a better option. Next one. It's coming unrolled. I don't want that. Let's put the chicken back in there. Roll it back up. You want to roll it tightly if you can. And if you know how to roll a spliff, you can roll a taco. That's it's not that big a deal. But you see, yeah, it's pretty simple. Pretty simple stuff. Also, you want to put cheese on it immediately after you take it out so the cheese will melt. Putting cheese on, hang on, you'll see it in a minute. Now, last one. Ah, second to last one. Gotta do the experiment too. Okay. You just want to make sure they stay rolled up because if you don't hold on to them, it'll unroll very quickly until it's cooked into that position, which this one now is. And there we go. And let's get ready for the flour tortilla. This one can go either way. I'm not 100% sure that this one's going to work well. Although, you know what a chimichanga is, just a deep fried burrito, so this may work pretty well. Okay.
見てる OK This is what we've got so far And now we're gonna do the Flour tortilla taquito We'll see how it goes This one's with the cheese If it turns out well, it'll be awesome So far, no explosions. Browns up quite a bit. Okay, that one's not going to be very crispy, but I didn't want to burn it. So, whoops. We don't need cheese on that one. Okay. Okay. Okay, so that's the meal, basically. Now let's move it over here. Just the remainder of the tortilla for the experiment. And we're gonna get out the condiments. Okay, so here's some of the homemade salsa from a previous video. And now we're using some sour cream. I like to serve it with sour cream. I guess Georgian sour cream, but it's pretty easy to find here. So, um, just take a spoon. Mm. All right, let's have a look at this. Let's put it back down to the taquitos. Okay, so I put sour cream on the taquitos on top. Um, and yogurt works as well. Uh, unsweetened, unflavored, obviously, your typical Greek yogurt. That works pretty well as well, but sour cream's easier to find here. So that's what I use. And now they're good to go. I'll put some cream on the cheese one. And I'll try the cheese one in a minute. So this was by, the, the, uh, the flour tortilla one was by request. And then this is, this is just how you eat them. Uh, take a taco, dip it into the salsa. And this, there you go. Mmm. It's tasty. Yeah. Bah. These tortillas are thicker than the ones you will probably find um, in your grocery store or wherever. So these didn't these didn't cook up that crispy. Uh, crispy is better, but these are fine. They're crispy enough they held their shape. And that's all there is to it. Just remember the water and then put the tortilla in the pan to soften them up. And you're good to go. Oh, all right. Let's try the flour one. In case you can't get corn tortillas, you can always do it with flour. Let's see how it goes. much shorter frying time but yeah you can do it 
far, far better with, with corn tortillas, so. But that one, yeah. If you don't have a choice, no complaints. So, now you know how to make roll tacos, also known as flautas, with corn or flour tortillas. Remember, corn is way, way better, but the flour tortillas seems to work. All right. Thanks for watching. Hit the like and subscribe, and we'll see you on the new cooking channel. Hey!